Hi. I hear you on that cam, except for me it was uh, search for salmon and then Dram's butthole taking 120 hours and then 54 hours respectively. Hey Debo, how you doing? Alright, three, two, three, two, one. Huh. No, it's percent. Ah. The eerie is fun. It's actually uh, not that difficult of caping once you learn how to cape. Oddly enough, my my beginning. My beginner hack, uh, I don't know if you checked it out ever, Defy, but my beginner hack has probably a harder cape level. That goes all right to bow. Whoops. No, it's it's a long, but it's not difficult caping. It's di difficult within the context of Kaizo because most people. Kai if there's one skill among Kaizo players that is just uh, underdeveloped, it's cape. And flying. Three, two, one. But yeah, the hardest thing is like some very minimal item flight in the Eerie. Um, and then a little bit of slow flight during one of the sections. That's about it. Yeah, three or four. Something like that. I think four. It'll also be a little different. Um, Fly Me to the Stars is... Uh, such a fast-paced K-Pack that I don't feel like it translates super well to other Kaizo hacks, necessarily. Because Kaizo Cape, and Cape generally in a lot of places, is going fairly slow and meticulously and uh, responding to uh, how, how your slowdowns and speedups and all that move. And in a lot of cases, uh, not having spin fly or spin patch. Shoutouts to Volpe's friend and Senpai. Gotcha, gotcha. Unthemed Carl hack. I think it's one of those things where it's impossible to imagine because it's so far beyond uh, what he would ever want to do. Like, I get it as a thought exercise, but he, he would just never do it. I've actually never played uh, Flyman of Stars. I'm going off of what I've seen, what I've heard from other people, especially Kate people. And, uh, yeah. I need to play it eventually, I just have not yet.
PB, uh, 4843. How you doing, DS? Hm, interesting. I didn't know he made YI Kaizo. So that makes sense. I know that there were a couple races and that Morsel made a level. Oh, hi. Thank you, Jazz, for the three months of support at tier two. Uh, put some hype in the chat for Jazz, please. Oh, Jazz and Jazz. <laughs> Jazz is the one who wants to get juzzled now. Alas. We were talking about this before, I'm very sorry. Um, I was just saying too that uh, young Juz is a cause of vaginal dryness, but that's a whole different conversation. Fuck! Yeah, jazzled and juzzled. You tell me, you tell me young Juz in that looks attractive. I think Juz is cute now. I had a crush on him for a little bit. You probably know this. But that young Juz, oof. Even if it's ironic. I'm, uh, I'm like 98% gay. Cause... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cam. Um... But like, Microwave Brother could get it. Maybe Juz at this point, still. But less so. I had no idea about that. Uh, about a uh, potato chan making a hack. That's interesting. Or did I know that? Yeah, the one in the beanie there. That's uh, that's Juz. That's young Juz. You uh, you picked the winner. No, it's... I actually think that Juz is a very, very wonderful human being. Somebody I... respect and appreciate immensely in a few different ways. Hundred and forty seven non dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure yeah, that's fair. Stay safe. If you if you see him less now, you can see him more later because you won't be dead. That's my motto. Um, you know, I'm not entirely sure, Cam. I just... I just... Go with it. That's my gut feeling. It's a feeling. I don't know. With, with women, it's just like... Wow, they're so pretty. Women are just so pretty. Cute. Adorable. I just want cuddles. With dudes, it's like you gotta you gotta have a lot going for you. Fuck. It's 
the mind. Yo, for sure. And I think that plays as well into, uh, uh, mostly because of, you know, social conditioning and stuff. Uh, dudes have been taught a lot of very toxic things that are hard to unlearn. Yeah. I mean, hell, I had to unlearn some of it too. I hate the I hate the term. I hate the term uh, male conditioning because it's bullshit in most of the ways it's used. But yeah, I I learned a lot of toxicity even as my. Uh, Essentially, the first 20 years of my life, 25 years of my life, were just like a series of traumatic events <laughs> on being forced to uh, uh, abide by a gender I knew I was not comfortable in. You know, life. Also, again, fuck the term male conditioning, because usually it's used to say that trans women are still essentially men, and uh, that they're going to be inherently toxic, inherently angry, inherently everything negative about uh, masculinity that we usually associate with it. It's used by TERFs, mainly. Trans-exclusionary radfems, which you probably know, but I'm just defining it for everybody. That was a bad boss fight. But yeah, it's used to, like, dismiss trans women. Or to try to differentiate. Um trans women from quote-unquote real women, or what have you. Yep. Agreed. Y'all who are just coming in missed me uh, reciting my favorite Dadaist poem during one of these runs. That was a good fucking time. And then we went off on a... Uh, postmodern and anti-modern uh, literary movements and thoughts. Oh, one second, Defy. Blair White? Yeah! Yeah, she's... Uh, she uses her transness uh, violently against other trans people. Um, and it's very likely she doesn't believe any of the shit she says and is just uh, doing it to uh, make, a, make a good dime. I hear that, Debo. I've been very lucky with my, uh, my mother especially. <laughs> but yeah, nah, Blair White's fucked. Um, for those who don't know, she is a right-wing trans woman who parrots all of the usual stereotypes in an effort to be one of the good ones quote-unquote, which we all know how that turns out for uh, people who try to be one of the good ones of a minority group. It doesn't ever turn out well. What time do I want? I don't know. Something that feels good. I don't have a, an exact time.
Go in the pipe. Oh, yep, yeah, exactly. All the costs are sold. Oh yeah, no, um, there's a lot, even even in non-right wing uh, trans women, there's a lot of ignorance of passing privilege. Some trans women, some trans men, um, one, don't give a shit about passing. Hey, hey Fink, how you doing? He gets. Um, but also just like, it's harder. Like, I'm, I'm six foot and a half inch, six one on a good day. That fucking sucks, and I'm overweight now, and my face is, uh, you know, uh, less so now because of the fat redistribution, but my, f my chin is like fucking twin sides. I am, uh, I'm doing all right, other than being able to swim. But yeah, uh, passing privilege and passing issues also ignore non-binary folks, which is where Contra comes in. A little bit too. It's hard to forget when you're a part of one marginalized group that sometimes you're privileged in other ways. Oh, uh, binder. scary yeah yeah and also I had uh, that trans man porn star who outed one of the Wachowski sisters like 10 years ago and stuff it's a mess For some people, their views of progress only extend to where they themselves um, have become equal. And that is one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen or heard of. It is very common. Check out Hoteps in the black community, check out white feminists, check out TERFs, etc. Mm, I hear you on that, Debo. 
on on the uh, not feeling, it, and that's a general issue. Um, too is that uh, no, uh, one of the Wachowskis was uh, uh outed by what's his name, I don't even remember. Um, hey, nice gracious. GG, yo. But yeah, uh, there's a lot less leniency for trans folk as far as gender expression and bending, which is super fucked. Cis woman, like, wants to like sports. She's, uh, she's a tomboy. Or just, you know, a girl who likes sports. Wow. Uh, Buck Angel, that's it. Thank you. Or a trans man still likes makeup or having, you know, a nice hairstyle or something. When people ask, are you sure you're not just a butch lesbian? But uh, a cis man does it and, you know, there's still going to be insults there because societally we view femininity as a weakness and something to be ashamed of, but your gender isn't questioned in the same way. And thus your validity as a fucking human being isn't questioned in the same way. I'm very trans Gotcha. Thank you. Wow, I undershot that real bad. That hurts. Got a good run going. And just, oof. Speaking of undershooting... That's not an uncommon thing, actually, Defy. Uh, going back to uh, going back to uh, you know, like the seventies, eighties. That's uh, a not uncommon stereotype. You simultaneously get the. Uh, this strange belief that trans women are just super gay men. And also that trans women are trying to trick lesbians into sleeping with them. And also are tricking men I don't know how, like, I know how, but just rhetorically, I don't know how the fucking stereotype of trans women uh, not dating other trans women came about. Because guess what? Trans women pretty strongly uh, date other trans women or other trans people out of fucking fear of getting, getting fucking murdered otherwise. Ah, right, good luck, Debo. Take care. I hope the uh, the appointment goes well. Oh. 
Hey Viscera, how you doing? I cannot do this now, holy shit. I think I'll have one more good run in me after this. Right? Like, all of the trans women I know are either, well, with one exception, uh, are either in a monogamous relationship with another trans woman or, in, or are in a fucking polycule with two plus other trans women. And the one exception I can think of is in a polycule with one trans man and one trans woman. Nice, Viscera. Good to hear, good to hear. I hope uh, you stayed safe and everything. Sizzle, hi Kane, how y'all doing? I am in existential pain. Yeah. Neat. Yep, no checkpoint. <laughs> well, I officially don't give a shit about jokingly trying to get the, uh, Double yump. Oh, it is, but I fucked up in a certain way just before you came in. And it hurts. It hurts. Because I had a good run going and I lost another minute and a half right there. <sighs> Oof. You just cook? Boy. Boy. What is wrong with me? Young Jones, goddamn right. For some reason, I can't jump off this vine and get onto that ground right now. It happened last run too, except like three times. Yeah, they are comfy. You can tell by the way that they are, and from having seen one or two comfy uh, Koopas in my day. He's goddamn right.
Wait, Sainted's imaginary? What the fuck are you talking about? No, I know. I was joking about Santa being imaginary. Hey, Seraph. How you doing? You know, I just realized I really do want to see Barb as Santa. I know there's that emote, but like, I want a Kaizo Christmas. And Barb is Santa. Do I want- no, I don't want to sit on his lap. No. I just want to talk to him. <laughs> Ask him how he's doing. Probably. I don't know. Unfortunately. <laughs> khaki jeans, yeah. Or khaki shorts. scary. Well, there's your new interview, Defy. You asking Barb about war crimes. That'll go over well. Hey, B-Boy. Doing pretty good. How are you? How are you? Bring Trevor to MMC? No, yeah, that would not go well. Right. That's fair. That's fair. Oh my god. How are the runs? Uh, good until now. There. Oh, did you okay with Juz? That interview essentially being about me <laughs> talking about banging him at SGDQ. Holy shit. 
I was like, I say other things. I swear. <laughs> I promise. I have more conversation than that. I know I'm very vulgar, but ooh. Living, thankfully? Nice, nice. I am happy to hear that. Aww. Yeah, my mother watches my stream on occasion. She's familiar. I would not worry too much about that. Not that you were worried about it, but... Not even once? Yeah. Never in my fucking life. Well, she didn't for a while. For a good, uh, 20... Seven, eight years. Kappa. Lost it in a good way or in a bad way? Making sure. I'm assuming in a good way, X-Water is always a good sport. Good, good, good. Kaizo Jerry Springer. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, baby tests? What? I don't know what that means, actually. Oops. I would just suggest not involving me or any of the other trans people in that. But that could be funny, yes. Probably three cats, Nick. Wow. Yo. Mpreg Orator drawings is not a thing I ever wanted, but I cannot unsee it, by the way. Ugh. Not the level I expected to get hung up on.
Yeah, I, I heard about the sponsored stream. I didn't see it in one second. I really want to not choke this run away. Hey, Berto, how you doing? I didn't do that. That actually just stopped itself. Huh. I hate that so fucking much. Also, thank you for the 500 bits. Yeah, that's yeah worth it. I appreciate that you uh, compensated for what was going to annoy me a little bit. Sizzle is easily the uh, most ethical troll I've ever come across. some kind of pace. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, man. That was totally just like... I can't entirely control that on an attempt-by-attempt attempt basis.
Lost all my fucking time. <laughs> Ugh. And I did, I did, uh... Invictus level part very, very quickly. I think I one-shot at my PB. Or close. It doesn't have as much seemingly RNG jank. And Absolute Power doesn't really have RNG jank, but it just feels like it with that flimp at times. It's good to hear you're doing good, though. Yeah, I, I straight up just one shot it before, I think. Be a PB. <sighs> I play better when I'm ranting about um, trans rights. <laughs> Has anybody else noticed that? When I'm not completely focused on the game and I'm just bitching about shit? I play so much better. <laughs> 